much. Get out of my sight. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What now? You need to steal information about Albion's plans. That'll give us what we need to really put the hurt on their operations. for what they don't want you to know. Today we're talking about policing, by consent or by force for profit. Ever since Sir Robert Peel created the police force as we know it in 1829, London has relied on the Metropolitan Police Service for peace, stability and justice. They weren't perfect, but at least there was some democratic control. 
Now there's a new sheriff in town. If you're a victim of crime or you just want to silence a peaceful protest, there's a new police force to turn to. Albion. And they're about as far from the old-fashioned Bobby on the Bee as it's possible to get. When Hassani handed over London to Nigel Katz, many people were surprised. But we weren't. London has been up to sale and private Shit! Prices. One of ours is down!
Bagley, what you got for me? A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist, and this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. WT fuck? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done. We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me the coordinates. Robert Peel created the police force in 1829. London has relied on the Metropolitan Police Service for peace, stability, and justice. They weren't perfect, but at least there was some. Truck is now fleeing on foot. Stand by. Close them to a stop. This is London calling. I'm Tash, and this is Buccaneer, your source for what they don't want. Control, Today we're we are talking about policing, by consent or by force for profit. Ever since Sir Robert Peel created the police force of the United States, London has been left on the left. What's this? Return into HQ. Search terminated. How do you need some help? What's up? Your recruit has been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. Yeah, well, I was getting pretty bored sitting around watching old sitcoms. Plus, you know, go democracy or whatever. So, what do you have for us? Almost got clipped finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. That's for fucking sure. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? What people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics centre. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. Sounds like a plan to me. Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid-powered generator in there. Output must be immense. 